I'm just gonna knock up a sloppy spod mix now. It's a method I've used a hell of a lot over the years. Not really at a place like this though, usually for smaller fish, singles, doubles, maybe the odd 20. And it works well when you get the fish competing. Uh, it's a process of repetitively spotting out over an area and putting a cloud into the water. No huge particles. The fish come in, there's lots of attraction, lots of colour, lots of smell, um, but no real food source. And in amongst that, you fish the zigs. Um, I'm going to make mine up using uh, a base of the gyro mix. It's a very, very clever three part mix that consists of a bottle of juice with lots of oils and flavours, some pure crustacean extract, a bag that contains not only the riser pellets, but an awesome blend of dried bugs. Um, we discussed the riser pellets yesterday. It's a three part floating uh, pellet mix that consists of four mil, two mil, and one mil pellets. The one mils almost immediately start to sink down. The two and the four stay on the surface. And these little insects and bugs and caddis and worms, they also float on the surface too. Very, very different to what the fish are used to seeing. And one could argue it looks very much like a fly hatch. So I'm gonna tip that into the bucket first. Into that I'll add the powdered mix. The powdered mix is very, very light. There's no big particles in here, no pellets or, or, or things like that. Lots of cereals, lots of milk proteins. Very, very cloudy mix. We'll put some of that in. I'm not gonna do the entire bag because I'm only here now for another sort of three, four hours. I'm also gonna to add to it some of the 11 mil slicker floaters which I've already been feeding out there and the odd fish has been coming up and taking because there's a strong possibility that I'll replicate that on my zig, maybe with a piece of cork, a piece of critical balancing foam. Uh, we also do some imitation pellet as well. I'll probably put one of those on. That'll be the sort of hook bait that they should hone in on. Uh, I'll then add the gyro liquid and you can see here it's actually broken up into two parts. This is the food based element, lots and lots of goodness in it. This is the oil based element and the oil, and the food mixed together make a lovely concoction that helps slick the water up and colour it and really hold that flavour in an area. Again, don't need to use the entire bottle this time. And just to finish the mix off, to make it really, really oily, I'm gonna add some hemp oil. Dead, dead simple. The actual main bulk of the mix is lake water. Just before adding that, I'll give it a quick stir around. Just mixing all that oil and liquid in amongst the dry mix, the riser pellets and the dried insects. And then finally, I'll top the mix up with lake water. As I said, that's the bulk of the ingredients really. And you can't really put too much in. It's not like mixing a normal ground bait or a method mix where you've got to be very, very careful. This stuff here, put as much in as you want. Slop it all up and you tend to need to leave it for about five or 10 minutes. The water will start soaking into all the, the powdered mix and the pellets and stuff. You might need to top it up with a bit further water. But there's my sloppy cloud mix. Now I'm gonna get a spod rod sorted and start applying it over an area.